this actually is the the third largest a particular area in uh, the design what we do for all our work. So, color is the most important thing then we have the design principles and all these design principles finally, had to has to come to uh, the fonts because you cannot write anything without the font. So, typically uh, we use this word called font because in computers it is called font, but uh, the original word for that was type which is uh, still used and that is why we call it typography where it is the art of using the different typefaces for communicating the message. So, application for us in our area is for the titling purpose whatever titles we create. So, like the formal definition of typography is actually to compose text to create readable, coherent and visually satisfying information. Now, visually satisfying information is a very important term here. So, if you see something like right now what you see here, if it is not clear then if I if I just uh, select this and probably make it uh, So, the readability is considerably different now. So, that is what I was meaning by while I was saying that we will have at least 60 percent contrast between the two. So, if you do not have that then you land up into troubles. So, for example, if if this is ok if, if I make it black again and uh, then here I, I make a background also I, I just make it uh, ok. So, now readability again is a issue right. So, even if I have two uh, different colors for that. So, this was one of the things we thought of uh, having a look at, but here is a uh, some couple of examples which will illustrate use of fonts uh, in a different way. So, uh, has everybody understood the color part and the graphic design part? So, we will move on to fonts now right ok. Right. So, in using fonts there can be a very uh, it is a very narrow line there that what fonts you use for what purpose and most of the time the purpose is defeated if you use a wrong font. I have some very uh, vague examples right now actually not concerned with what we are all are doing, but let me uh, I just thought we will uh, use some of them for our uh, interesting view ok. So, here is a military recruitment poster that military wants to invite you to join the army. So, if it is written in this font or in this font, so what makes sense more for the army right. So, it is very clear that uh, army is not about uh, floral patterns and uh, very thin uh, calligraphic strokes and all that. So, it is about a robust uh, way of nature it is completely a different uh, lifestyle. So, you can you can imagine the lifestyle using this right you can see the difference here. So, that was one thing. Now, immediately if I change the subject like it is a marriage invitation. So, if you like that font which was used for army, if I use the same thing uh, for marriage invitation now, now it does not make sense anymore right, but this makes sense here. So, all the floral things and the very thick and thin calligraphic ways it makes sense here. Similarly, let us come back to something which is nearer to our topics right. So, these are very extreme cases what I took, but I will come to very somewhat nearer to our areas. Okay, this is the admission notice of some college, they have a post doctoral degree in microbiology. So, it is a poster for that. So, we have a post doctoral degree, it is written in this format right now and it is also written in this format. Now, what will make more sense the one on the top or the bottom? One on the bottom, how many people for top? How many bottom ok, why? So, people who say bottom has ok, what what is wrong with the top one? 
anything especially wrong with the top, uh, top one which you do not like. What is that you do not like? Huh? It is too much bold, okay. one thing second, huh? one by one, anything else somebody said? Come on. Okay. Huh? Correct. Subject subject ke saath nahi ja raha hai. Subject ke saath nahi ja raha hai. Matlab kya ho raha hai? Huh? Okay. Readable chahiye. Readable to hai na? Kafi readable hai. Bold hai. ठीक है. फिर readable to hai. Or kya problem hai uske? Huh? जो चीज में एक्चुअली एज अ स्टूडेंट इफ आई लुक एट इट इट लुक्स मोर कैजुअल टू मी राइट इट डजेंट लुक फॉर्मल मतलब ये एजुकेशन फॉर्मल होगा ऐसा नहीं लगता है पोस्ट डॉक्टरल डिग्री तो लग रहा है लेकिन uh, उसके टाइप फेस से मुझे नहीं लग रहा है कि ये बहुत फॉर्मल कॉलेज होगा ये uh, काफी फ्रीकआउट लग रहा है देख के ठीक है सो फन अपार्ट वी वील जस्ट गो इन टू सम डिटेल ऑफ वॉट इज दिस typography word all about so we have uh, different font families so they can be categorized into some serif fonts and sans serif fonts primarily these are the two main gharana bolte hai na jisko to ye do major gharana hai uh, fonts mein so some are serif and some are sans serif so you have a uh, list of some popular fonts in serif and sans serif so century calson garamond times palatino the list is very long and uh, in sans serif you have another range of fonts arial is also one of them but i have not mentioned it here apart from these two there are different fonts like calligraphic fonts which is which look almost like handwritten fonts there are some technical or science fiction based fonts which are which look like futuristic so ab logon ne star wars dekhi hai na to star wars ka jo fonts hai so they are slightly different so jis tarah se digital ghadiyon mein hame dikhte hain us tarike ke bhi fonts hote hain so that then there are cartoon fonts there are some gothic fonts which were used in the very very early ages so what is the basic difference between the serif and the sans serif now this is where it starts getting tricky so particularly so serif fonts have a uneven thickness of the strokes used in the character so for example a has these strokes so you can see that this particular thing is thinner than this and that is why you can ma easily make out this is a serif font and the serif word is actually this particular thing this is called the serif where the base line uh, whenever it touches the base line it has a curve here so this is called serif on the other side sans serif will have all even thickness everywhere if not even at least it will be very very minimally different than each other there won't be a much of a contrast in the thicknesses so now how how do we have application of these uh, fonts in our e learning domain so what are the things which which will uh, have some bearing on this thing so one important thing is about the information graphics that we create so information graphics in e learning are Uh, typically the main title or the opening titles what we say then we have the name of the speaker or the presenter we have the end titles and we sometimes have other graphics like we have the slides in between or whatever now the main opening titles also is a subject of very deep interest to be taken on we, we normally uh, just do it in a very haphazard way but if we really concentrate then there are lots of things to be done even in the main title so the opening title should typically consist of the following things it will have a subject area uh, definitely defined it will have the lecture title of the person who is going to talk uh, the what is the subject of that subject area is meaning the the main subject like it can be a biology or a mathematics or whatever or then it can be the specific lecture third thing would be the speaker name then there can be some numerical data like what is the lecture number what is the course number or what is the date if it is required and there can be some organizational affiliations like if you have a logo of your organization 
or you may have something written like IIT Bombay or YCMOU or whatever. Now, based on that we, we will have an assignment of creating something like this. Now, what I want is uh, you all have to split in the groups of two now. So, there will be 16 groups of two each and uh, what uh, I, I will have a list of. So, this is a typical example right uh, I have given here is about a subject area which will have a lecture lecture title, it will have a professor, which will have the lecture number, the date and the affiliation right. So, now um, I have three main uh, assignments to do. So, one thing is about color scheme. So, basically the, here I have written 16 different subjects right. So, each one pick one, but uh, everybody has to do the other one also. So, two people in a group. So, they make two color schemes for this. Now, the point is that we will have color schemes based on some subject. Why I have deliberately not uh, spoken about color scheme for a subject? What I have now shown is a very, very broad view of what is a color scheme, how color scheme can be designed. Now, I have not deliberately shown that okay, for marine engineering this can be a color scheme. I want you guys to explore that now. So, how, how can you have different color schemes? So, these are the subjects. Now, I want actually 5 shades, but 5 shades is too much. I want 5 colors to be chosen for each subject. So, if you say marine engineering, then you will have 5 subject, uh, 5 shades. Now, remember the shades what you choose have to be uh, finally used in making a title or making a title of the person which, which comes as a rollover title when the speech is going on. So, these will be the applications of that. These are not the photographs to be taken. So, ye jo color choose kar rahe hai, iska use hume photography mein nahi karna hai. Ye hume jo graphics banayenge uske liye karna hai. Okay. So, you have to remember that five shades if we choose, usme se kuch shades background ke ho sakte hai, kuch shades text ke ho sakte hai. Okay. Kuch shades, agar hume kuch objects draw karne padhe te, uske liye shades shahi hume. So, panch shades is liye rakhe gai. So, you have to use five shades of uh, any one of this, uh, any Two of the subject matlab do logon ki team hai. So, is liye ek ne ek aur dusra ne dusra subject lena hai. Thik hai. Then you have to also choose a font for any two of these things. Matlab marine engineering ke liye ek font aur national school of blind ke liye ek font use karna hai. Thik hai. And the third one is about make one slide using the design, color and the typographic principles. What you have seen now uh, for the two subjects what you have chosen. So, do do subjects choose kiya honge. So, har ek ka matlab hai, agar main kisi ke saath pair up hoon, to suppose maine marine engineering liya hai, to maine marine engineering ke liye panch colors choose kiya hai, maine marine engineering ke font choose kiya hai, aur wo font aur wo colors, do do ko use karke, mujhe ek marine engineering ke ek slide bhi banani hai. Opening slide jise maine bola tha, jisme ye saare cheeze ho sakti hai. And for the reference, I have a, a site called dafont.com. So, you can uh, use this site called dafont.com, which is a very good uh, collection of fonts. Most of the fonts also again, it is a very interesting piece of information for all of you. Most of us do not know that fonts is a copyright thing. So, today I create a font, it is my copyright and I am supposed to be paid for my font being used by someone else that is a typical thing. So, especially on this site, you will see that these fonts, if it is free, then it is written here that it is free for personal use and so and so forth. And you have to download the font for PC, Macintosh or whatever way, right. But there are some fonts which, which cannot be used by anybody for any other purpose. It is a paid font. So, in that case, they have written it there that it is not a free font, it is a paid font. Uh, anyway, for our purpose, we do not have to worry about these issues. We are just doing it for our educational purpose, so does not matter. I just thought another information I will share with you all. So, there are, uh, so suppose this, this is completely free, so whatever use you want to use. So, this is, these are the different, this is not free now. So, it is saying that uh, there are some comments here and you can download it but it is not free in case you want to use some commercially then you have to maybe take permissions of people and other things 
So, when you download you will get those permission letters, but uh, this website is quite good. In fact, uh, they have already organized the fonts in different ways. So, it is a very, very good site to have uh, as a reference also for all of you. So, I think I am clear. <laughs>